Hello and welcome to vSphere 6.x deployment series. My name is Faisal and once again I would like to welcome you to this series of videos in which I'll talk about or I will show you how to deploy vSphere 6. Okay, target audience for this series. Definitely those who would like to learn vSphere hands-on and those of you who wants to set up proof of concept or set up a vSphere environment in SMB. It could be your company, it could be your client, it could be a lab, maybe you just want to follow along. For all this purpose, um, I believe that this video series will do some justice and those of you who, who, who wants to learn vSphere and go to in detail concepts of technologies I would suggest that along with my videos you can follow with you know a certain maybe some articles or, or some book because will my training videos be enough uh, to, to learn vSphere? Uh, practically yes, but theoretically no. Because as those of you who know uh, my previous video series, like one on Exchange 2016 and another one Citrix and Desktop, you know I focus more on hands-on stuff. In my video series, you won't find, you typically won't find slides. Because what I do I take that okay how to implement certain feature for example how to implement vMotion or let's say vir virtual SAN or vSAN in vSphere and I go through their steps of course I give you a brief idea of what is it and like like a two-liner or three-liner and sometimes a little bit more detail that but those who are new may that that might not be enough for them but those who are experienced or wants a refresher, that could be sufficient. I never claim that my series is our training videos, uh, though <laughs> when we talk about it, it's, like it's training videos. It's basically, as you know, for my Exchange series and Citrix Zen, top, Zen Desktop series, it's basically a how-to or tutorials. They are not mainly designed as training, like to so that you can do your certifications but it definitely help you to implement vSphere in production environment and time by time I give referrals or references to certain articles certain tools that will help you in your day-to-day -day vSphere administration and the series won't stop here the series won't stop here because time by time I will be publishing more videos to it that basically will more target those people who manage vSphere environment like do vSphere administration because that's what I also do uh, um, so so we will share knowledge and we will definitely enjoy this series uh, unlike uh, other series uh, because whenever I do or record certain things I don't do hours of preparation in advance I just go blizzard you know I feel like okay let's do this and I shoot the video so sometimes you may feel that uh, some points of certain topic you may find in another video for example uh, when I was talking about I remember when I, when I talk about DRS or 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 replication. When I in one of the video in this series on vSphere replication, uh, I suddenly something came in my mind related to vSphere HA and DRS, and I did explain there. So those of you who will watch all video series, definitely they will get more benefit out of it. Otherwise, you don't have to. You can just pick a certain things. But as I said. I don't plan in advance because this is what I like and what I do and I really appreciate that you guys are you know, 
appreciating my work but uh, so there is no up, no not a planned sequence to it this is what I'm trying to say that time by time something comes in my mind and I just explain to you to it regardless of which video we are in which topic we are in so those of you who, who will follow the whole videos you might find something related to some topics on some videos which are not related to that. anyway uh, let's see uh, let's me let me introduce to you my lab topology here this is the lab topology which i have at home domain it sense.com active directory domain controller dns dhcp i have one machine uh, one computer i installed you know iSCSI target role to it it's name storage it's not part of a domain it's on totally different network and this iSCSI target will prov uh, build you know sh host some storage shared storage for our esxi servers so <coughs> sorry uh, I have three ESXi servers, ESXi1, ESXi2, ESXi3. They will all connect to this storage and access this shared uh, LUNs and they will create data stores so that we can use all advanced features of vSphere clusters like vMotion, DRS, HA, fault tolerance, fault tolerance and etc. There is one video about virtual SAN. In this case, we don't need this one. We I will configure uh, a virtualized SAN using the local storage of this ESXi video. That's that's a very good video. And those of you who are new to hyperconverged solution, I will definitely tell them to. I will definitely encourage you to, to watch this and try. It's a very exciting thing. Uh, v Center, yes, I'll have one machine as a V Center. I will use Windows version of vCenter because the re a reason for that is though vCenter for Linux it's, it's it's very good it's very good in vSphere 6 but uh, in my lab environment I might like to continue with Windows environment because most likely I will shoot another series for Horizon View and you know, on that virtual desktop Horizon View series I will install you know VMware Composer on vCenter and that requires if I want to install it on on vCenter then the vCenter needs to be Windows so that's that's one of the reasons I will save one server this way um, may, maybe I in, well, in one of the videos in the future I might introduce you to the Linux appliance but vSphere it's not something very new so most of you might already know about it so this is the scenario, <clears throat> uh, the storage server, here I will share some ISCSI, I share the storage through ISCSI, two different networks, data network represented by green and ISCSI network represented by blue, uh, this is firewall secure router, we have, I will have uh, three ESXi servers, one vCenter, one DNS, and Active Directory server and storage. Each ESXi server will have 12 gigs of RAM and around uh, 8 CPU, uh, 8 cores. Um, vCenter, it's a separate virtual machine with 12 gigs of RAM and some disk space. Domain controller, typical 2 gigs and storage, 2 gigs of RAM. Uh, if you want to follow along, uh, yes, you can reduce definitely uh, specs if you have limitation or, ha or hardware constraint and you want to do a lab. You can reduce resources of your ESXi servers. Uh, you don't have to have 12 gigs. All you have to do, you can go for 4 gigs each. Um, but vCenter requires at least 8 gigs of RAM. Um, and what else I'd say? This is it. Yeah, this 
this that's how the topology is. Uh, yes, for storage, I'm using the single path. I could have um, in your lab if you want to test multiple paths. You can add another card and use multiple different VLANs, or you can use a different IP range to show different paths from ESXi and from storage. You can add another NIC here, and here you can add another NIC, you know, and do all of that. But as a lab environment, I try to be as simple as I can because the idea here is just we just need a shared storage in production environment. Definitely, you will not be using Windows Server. As a SCSI target, either you will have, you know, some SAN storage like, you know, I mean, uh, fiber channel or iSCSI depends. Could be any type, could be NetApp, PMC, IBM, or anything. I'm very much fond of uh, EMC, IBM, and NetApp, but you may have a Dell, HP, or any other storage. Well, it's all good depends all serves the purpose and definitely uh, when I talk about hyperconverge or vSAN in this case we don't need this part basically because the servers will use local storage and provision of virtualized SAN so you can start off with that approach from the very beginning you can skip this part totally configure a vSAN and then follow along you know do laps on using vSAN you know you can with vSAN you can test all the features you know it's a shared storage it is shared storage so uh, this is it guys this is the introduction or introductory video for the series and hopefully you will like it uh, in case if you do like it um, just I would love to get your feedback. Please do subscribe my channel. And this will motiv motivate me further to produce more video tutorials. And that's it. Enjoy. Take it easy.